It's been quite a few days now the Galaxy S21 series is out and yes there are two versions as always the Snapdragon version in the US and other regions whereas the Exynos version in UK, India and some of the regions of the world and as with the previous trend the Exynos processor Galaxy series that's the Galaxy S and Note lineup was definitely underpowered when compared to the Snapdragon variants but with the Exynos 2100 that's not the case anymore here the difference is not that huge this time but still there is a difference over here and I have already made a few videos regarding this but today it's gonna be an update video where I have checked the recent Geekbench results and I'll be telling you guys whether to go for the Exynos or the Snapdragon variant finally in this video hey guys all about technology 24 into 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So let me directly show you the Geekbench results of the Galaxy S21 series. Let me start off with the Exynos 2100. As you can see, this is the latest result that's February 1st, 2021 and single core 1061, multi-core 3425. Just have a look at these scores guys. I have kept the screen on still. Here it is. Second result 1059 and 3331 on the multi-core. Third result again a little bit lesser than that. Multi-core is also lesser than that. Again, fourth result, as you can see, pretty good. Fifth one on the list is not that great here, 991, 3196. And again, subsequent results are on the screen. This score, the single core 662 and multi 1841 is pretty low. And as you can see, this is the latest one, February 1st, 2021. I don't know what's wrong with that particular device or maybe there might be some other issues, but still it's pretty low. And the down results, here it is. So this is the Exynos 2100 guys. Have a close look at the multi-core results. So let me directly jump into the Snapdragon 888 Galaxy S21. Let me type it Lahaina and let me give it a search. Here it is, the latest one. Single core definitely, no doubt, the Exynos 2100 is not that great when we compare it with the Snapdragon 888 Galaxy S21. As you can see, 1124 on the single, 3311 on the multi-core. Second result, 1121 on single, 3364 on multi-core. The third one, 1105 and 3076. Fourth one, 1047, 3330. As you can see, the fifth result is pretty low here, 991, 3007. And the subsequent results are on the screen. It has gone all the way down to 586 as well on the single core and 2301 on the multi-core. As you can see, guys, so definitely after seeing these results and after waiting for all these days, it's already been like I think 15 days plus maybe 15 to 20 days. The Snapdragon and the Exynos Galaxy S21 series are out and Samsung has got plenty of time to optimize their software. So I can say that Samsung has definitely tuned the Snapdragon based Galaxy S21 series to match up with their Exynos 2100 Galaxy S21 series. That's for sure because these results are not not Snapdragon 888 standard whatsoever guys have a look at the results of other devices just google it like the Xiaomi Mi 11 or other upcoming devices from Vivo the Geekbench results are out I will not show that again in this video because I have already shown that in the previous videos and I told you to have a close look at the Exynos multi-core results and just match that with the Snapdragon multi-core result guys it's pretty much similar I can say and obviously the latest result is higher i mean the snapdragon is lower than exynos in terms of multi-core result in the latest one that's the february 1st 2021 latest result what we saw earlier here it is the single core is yes no doubt a little bit higher on the snapdragon but multi-core is pretty much similar or even lower than the exynos 2100 so guys my end conclusion would be that definitely samsung has turned down the performance of snapdragon galaxy s21 series just to match up with their exynos 2100 processor what do you think about this is it fair enough or samsung should have kept everything stock and should have admitted that exynos is still not as powerful as Snapdragon 888. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Yes, definitely this is not the in-depth comparison because obviously I don't have these devices here nor I can afford to buy both of these devices and mostly these devices are not available in India. I mean both of these 
in india only exynos is available and it's very costly i can say almost 1 lakh plus so yeah definitely i just cannot afford to buy all of these devices and compare it but i tried to put it onto a video like whatever data i have the real test will be in terms of battery drain also in terms of heating etc also gaming performance on both of these devices which will be out pretty soon on youtube so this was a quick little video talking about the geekbench results of exynos 2100 s21 versus the snapdragon 888 s21 series so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace